Onofre Arpagsanhan is a renowned educator in the Philippines. He finished high school at the Ateneo de Manila University in 1947 and also earned his AB in education in 1951 and MA in English Literature in 1984 from the same university. He started his career in the university's high school department in 1951 and has taught English and Filipino ever since. He married Florinda Duran in 1960 and had three children named Stella, Joel, and Sylvia. The Tanghalong Onofre Pagsanhan was so named in honor of his then 50th year of teaching service to the university. He has lectured extensively throughout the Philippines, literally from Aparito Holo, on education topics, specifically on teaching as a vocation. In 1997, he founded the Cibol Jesus School, a free tutorial school for public high school students. Mr. Pagsi, as his students fondly call him, has utilized and continues to utilize the theater as a means to teach not just English and Filipino, but Christian values as well. He began teaching theater as moderator of the Ateneo High School Dramatic Society in 1956, managed its transition into Dula Ang Sibol in 1966, and has won recognition as a playwright and director in the succeeding decades. Every year since the 80s, Mr. Pagsi teaches the class of 1A as their homeroom advisor and English teacher. Watch him share his words of wisdom on teaching and learning. I've been teaching for 60 years, 60. Yes, I'm 84 years old. I've been teaching for 60 years. Yes, all in high school, no? And all in Ateneo. Yes, faithful ako eh. No, I haven't retired. Why will I retire? I mean, <laughs> my life is teaching. I retire, I run out of dreams, I die. I think one of the main reasons is because my boyhood heroes were my teachers. No? I like to, to think that uh, God was calling me to become a teacher because otherwise I would not have had all of the wonderful teachers that I've had. No? Sometimes you have to be able to sense where God is calling you eh, from the way, from the things that happen in your life. Because I feel that uh, every day I'm guided through my life. No? And the very reason why I had this great teacher, Father John P. Delaney, all right, and Father Goff. When I was most impressionable, they were my teachers. And for me, they made the biggest sense out of all of the people that I see, no? I wasn't tempted to be a basketball player. To begin with, I'm short, no? And I wasn't tempted to become a movie star. Ultimately, I think, and I tell people, and I'm telling you, you know, that nobody knows how I should live my life more than the God who made me. I have to also admit the fact that He cares about me that nobody wants to make me happy as much as he does. And therefore, the most sensible thing that I can do if I really live my faith and if I really believe that there is a God is to talk to that God and find out from that God precisely why he made me, no? Because there is nothing that he made that does not have a purpose. You are here for a purpose. I am here for a purpose. And therefore, I find out what is the big purpose of my life? What is the meaning of my life? Because the most important question I always ask the boys, the most important question are the why questions. Bakit, no? One of my boys wrote a very nice poem. Sabi niya, okay, sa laking kaguluhan sa paghahanap buhay, na wala ang dahilan kung bakit nabubuhay. You're so busy making a life and living for yourself. I'll be preparing a long test by next week. And I want to see, is it a good test? All right, I look at the questions I ask. My exam is valid and meaningful. De depending on the why questions that I ask, because the why questions are the most important questions in your life, in my life. Well, therefore, why am I alive? Okay, Mr. Pagsi, born to teach, no? Therefore, as long as I can teach, as long as I still make sense to the boys, as long as I still make sense to people, I like to think I still communicate, no? The moment I don't make sense anymore, I say, I should quit because I'm not delivering the goods anymore. My mother is a very big influence in my life. The first best teacher I had was my mother, no? Anak ako ni Aling Tentay, ano? Kundi sa Aling Tentay, ang naging nanay ko, 
ibang hubog ng buhay ko, no? The first most important lesson I learned was from a, for my mother. My mother would say, manghas kang mangarap, no? Because anak, mahirap ako eh. Doon kami nakatira sa perimeter ng tundo, no? I learned swimming in Pasig River. That tells you what kind of a boyhood I had, no? Anak, mahirap ako eh, no? Ha? Paano ako nakapag-aral sa Ateneo? Marami akong taong dapat pasalamatan. Pero ang una kong dapat pasalamatan ang nanay ko because ang nanay ko ang nagturo sa aking mga rap, no? Hindi porky mahirap ka ngayon, forever and forever, andi dyan ka na, no? So my mother would say, mga has kang mga rap, no? I like the word mga has. Dare, no? Dare implies courage. There are many people who helped me kung, 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 kung kaya ko nakapag-aral sa Ateneo. Pero ang una, ang similya, ang pangarap at ang similya ng galing sa nanay ko. I want to be a teacher and I want to be a teacher of high school. I don't want to be a teacher in college. Why? Because the greatest teacher I had was Father John P. Delaney. And sabi ni Delaney when he was principal of the high school, ilagay mo pinakamagagaling na teacher mo sa first year. Why? Because doon pinakamoldable ang mga bata. No? Later on, in grade school, they're too young. It's always teacher said, mommy said, no? Pagdating sa college, wala na yun eh. Kumbaga sa cake, icing na lang nilalagay nila eh, no? Di ba? You're already made, no? But in first year high school, yun ang pinakasapong sa yung mga bata. Believe it or not, we were taking in the funeral speeches from Julius Caesar, no? William Shakespeare ito, no? Ha? We take the original, no? Because I teach the honors class, no? There are 15 sections in first year. And year after year, that it's not my choice, no? But the big bosses teach the honors class. And I teach the brightest young men of the Ateneo, no? Minsan pag sobra yung, sobra yung yaman mo, doon nagsisimula ang mga problema eh. Mas mabuti pa yung teacher ka, alam mo, kakrampot lang ang sweldo mo, hindi mo kayang magkaroon ng number two, number three, and so you remain okay. I'm happier, no? I'm not rich, I don't have a car, I don't know how to computer, wala akong cellphone, cellphone, no? But the boys still like me when I teach, no? Okay, the boys are still very much alive when I teach. My greatest challenge is to live every day as best as I can. Ngayon eh, ka-assinate si Julius Caesar, no? And Mark Anthony comes in. And uh, pagkakita niya kanyang best friend na dati, napaka-powerful ngayon, nandun, wala lang sa lupa. And he says, Oh mighty Caesar, dost thou lie so low? Are all thy conquests, triumphs, spoils shrunk into this little measure? Pagka namatay ka, pagka namatay ka, pagka namatay ka, anong ipagmamalaki mo? Wala ka naman dadalhin dito, ah. Hindi mo naman Memorial Park, doon ka ililibing, no? In the end, parang anong ginawa mo sa buhay mo, no? For me, are the most important questions, no? What gives me anime? What gives me the spirit? It is because I believe in what I'm doing. It is because this is the because of my life. Why did God make me? God made me to be a teacher. And that's the best way that I can serve my Lord and my God. No? I believe in these 10 moves. All right, that they're sponsoring now. They're saying that if they can get 2 million people who will contribute 10 pesos every day for 10 months, in the end, you will get something like 3,000 pesos. If they can get 2 million people to do that, they promise to build 10,000 classrooms. And so my classroom now is involved in that, no? Because I want to bring my boys to what's happening to the country right now. I say, hindi pwede tayong believe lang, dream lamang ng dream, pero wala tayong ginagawa. And I think, all right, my, my class will contribute 3,000 pesos very soon, no? Everybody must do something. Hindi pwede tutulog-tulog ka. Walang mangyayari sa bayan natin kung tutulog-tulog tayong lahat, no? I'm just a first-year high school teacher, but I'll be the best high school, first-year high school teacher I can be. That's my contribution. If all of us contribute to this country, then this country will go up. Hindi pwedeng isa lang, eh. One boy wrote a play. Sabi niya, hindi pwedeng isa, kailangan bawat isa. That's perhaps the problem. We, we leave everything to Pinoy. Pinoy is the miracle worker. Hindi kaya ng isa, kailangan bawat isa. Kailangan lahat tayo kumilos, no? Kung lahat tayo kumilos, may mangyayari. Pero kung hindi tayo kumilos lahat, hindi kaya ng gobyerno. Kailangan lahat tayo tumulong, ano ha? If we want something to happen. I like to think I teach well. Ilagay mo ako sa classroom na 70 people, I don't know whether magaling pa rin ako. Ilagay mo ako sa classroom, I teach 50 students ng nasa likod ko o blackboard, sa kabila may nagtuturo ng math, I don't know whether I can deliver the goods. I really think yung 10 moves has a very practical approach to helping out. We need classrooms so that everybody can at least be taught in a classroom. I hope dumating sa punto na 
40, 50 at most students in one classroom. Never more than 70 people in one classroom. If you're teaching English, how can you teach English without assigning composition? If you have 70 students in one class, grabe, well it's 70 compositions. How many compositions can you correct in one month? Presuming that you're teaching five classes. Five times 70 is 350. If you can correct 350 compositions in one month, magaling ka na, no? Therefore, hopefully, giving them classrooms, giving them smaller classrooms will be a very big help to teachers. I use multimedia, but uh, you see, ang multimedia ko is, I use visual aid, and I'm the best visual aid because I'm alive. If you're patay-patay, sino makikinig sa'yo? Minda ka sa klase. Good morning. Today we're going to take the assassination of Julius Caesar. All right, open your textbooks. All right, read Act 3, Scene 1. Eh, paano yun, hindi ba? Kailangan buhay ka eh. Madalas ko sabihin, kung patay ang klase, sino nakaburol? Ang teacher nakaburol. Oh, all right, but you cannot blame the teacher who overworked your teacher mo. And therefore help the teacher become a better teacher. For me, the 10 moves that uh, one group is sponsoring, I think it's a very good way of upjacking the quality of teaching. It's the only way. There's another way. Kailangan i-inspire mo yung mga tao to do a good job, no? Oh, because, kung yung because ng mga teacher ay mababaw, walang mangyayari kahit nga ilagay mo sila sa air-conditioned classroom. Kung ang because nila ang babaw, but can I tuturo? Because wala nga akong makita ng ibang trabaho eh, kaya dito na lang ako. Eh hindi pwede no? Kailangan, you're vibrant, you're alive. Alam mo kung bakit ka nagtuturo. You see the bigger picture. You see your whole life in its totality. What does my life mean no? The only reason why I'm teaching is because wala na akong ibang makita ng trabaho. Walang mangyayari sa classroom mo. Oh. Ang inaantay lang ang sweldo. Eh hindi kaya yaman sa pagtuturo. Motivation is very important. The classroom is important. But it's not the only thing that has to be done. And that's why even now, all right, I'm glad, all right, you're asking me to do this and I hope people will listen, no? That the why you're doing, why you're a teacher is very important. The why you're the president is very important. The why you're a congressman is very important. Sabi nga nung isang uh, senador on the limelight now, I'm not the senator of my family, I'm the senator of this whole country. Oh, I hope you mean it, no? Because if you mean it, something will happen. You can only teach by example. All right? You cannot teach your students hard work if you do not work hard. You cannot teach them honesty if you are not honest. You cannot teach them to get closer to God if they see that you're very far from God. You cannot teach them to go to Mass if you do not go to Mass yourself. It begins with you. It's your example. It's your way of life. Your way of life is your best subject matter to teach. And you don't have to even speak about it because you're transparent. And the students are very smart. They can read right through you. They'll, they'll know if you're a big fake or if you're the real McCoy. Mr. Pagsi, if you were to boil down in two simple sentences what you hope to do with your life, what would that be? And I would say, okay, I'm sorry this is not from the Bible. I'm sorry it's not from the saint. In fact, it's from a sculptor. I would say, love your calling with passion. It is the meaning of your life. And I say, we'll simplify things. I don't want things complicated because I'm a simple person. We'll just pounce on five words. Meaning. What do you mean by meaning of your life? What is the meaning of your life? Love your calling. 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 Sino ang tumawag sa'yo? Ang pamilya mo lang ba ang tumatawag sa'yo? Ang boyfriend mo lang ba ang tumatawag sa'yo? Meron ka ba ang Diyos? Ano ang tawag ng Diyos sa'yo? So love. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng love? What do you mean by love? Okay, love not in the pinky-pinky sexual thing, no? It has a wider connotation of love. It's the most important thing in the world, no? In fact, if you were to invent another word for God, perhaps the word that you can invent is God, is love. Love is God. What does it mean to love? Love your calling with passion. Passion is what? Passion is buhos, no? Of course, I still make my lesson plan, no? For instance, all right, minsan yung, play, yung plan ko ang nagmimintis. Hindi ka pwedeng magmadali eh. Kailangan nakatingin ka sa mata ng mga bata at tuturuan mo. Oh, nakoconfuse na ba sila? Oh, excited pa ba sila? Inaantok na ba sila? Kung inaantok na sila, stop already, hindi ba? Ibig sabihin, give them rest already, no? Hindi ba? So, therefore, there is a lesson plan. But the students are not slaves and I am not a slave to the lesson plan. The lesson plan is made for the students, not the students made for the lesson plan. Your mind must be fertile. Kailangan basa ka pa ng basa ng basa. Kapag nag, nag, hindi ka na bumabasa, tulog na yung utak mo, no? 
At hindi lamang basa kailangan. Ako, I'm glad malaking tenga ko, no? Gusto ko nakikinig sa mga tao. At saka kailangan sulat ka rin sulat because makakalimutan mo, no? Ha? Isang bata, yung nanay niya, yung nanay niya matatakotin sa mga gumagapang na bagay, no? Sa mga worms, no? And nakit niya mayroong worm na gumagamot sa nanay niya. One thing to be kind to the mother, inapaka niya nga at pinatapay, okay, namatay yung worm, no? O pagkatapos kinuhintin niya sa tatay niya, today I killed a worm, okay? And the father thought for a while and says, anak, you did not kill a worm, you killed a butterfly. O, para sa akin, maraming kahulugan yun, ano ha? I cannot rob of the boys in my class of interest in studying. I cannot so depress them that they lose ganas in studying. Hindi ba? Because who knows, this boy might become later on, all right? Okay, one of my boys I had, no? Butterfly pala yun, ano, hindi ba? Yung istidyante ko siya, mahilig siyang magkwento ng mga green stories, no? Aba, later on, holy ka mo, nasa college na siya, biro na matubukas na ng vocation, and now he's already a priest, no? He was a very good chaplain at PGH, no? But you encourage the boy, okay? Oh, hindi warm yan, baka butterfly yan, ano, hindi ba? There was a boy looking at an egg, no? Meron tumatap, tap, tap dun sa loob ng egg, no? It's the chick already wanting to come out. And so the boy wanting to have the chick inside, okay, cracks, cracks the egg, no? And guess what? All it, the chick, when it comes out, dies. Yung pala, the chick inside needs the energy in cracking up the shell. And therefore, if I'm an easy teacher, if I'm afraid of giving my boys hard work, they will never grow, they will just die. And therefore, I need wisdom. And wisdom I get only with prayer, with thinking, with reflection. How do I know whether this is the warm butterfly or this is the chick inside the eggshell who needs the energy, who needs to be able to learn to work? That's the way I teach, no?